Hey everyone, welcome to Aaron's Dollhouse. So today I have a special review that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's going to be the Midnight Masquerade Ariel doll. Very excited to review her, talk about her. Um, but yeah, I do apologize. I know I've been gone for a few days, guys. Um, life update, I was on vacation uh, for five days. We went to Tennessee, we went to Dollywood, um, got to see mountains. It was beautiful. It was my first time actually flying on an airplane. So we... I, I feel like we finally got over that fear of flying. <laughs> and um, I also got engaged. So, <laughs> to my now fiance, Robert. So, yay! It was, it was quite the trip. Lots of fun things happening. Um, but I was gonna say, we are here today to talk about another fun doll that I got in the mail. And like I said, it is the Midnight Masquerade Ariel doll. And oh my goodness gracious, she is so beautiful. I love her so much. Um, yeah, no, I was going to say, I very much so, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get her because I was at work again, like when she had dropped and... I missed out on Alice for that exact reason, um, unfortunately, the Midnight Masquerade Alice doll. Um, but I saw that she was still available online, um, so I immediately tried to snag her up as quickly as possible, and then she shipped out literally the same day, so amazing. Um, and then, yeah, I just, I haven't... I hadn't had the time to, you know, do like another review like before I had went on my vacation, but now we are here and we're going to talk about this beautiful, gorgeous, amazing doll. Um, like I said, this is Ariel. Um, and for those of you who um, are not familiar with the Midnight Masquerade dolls, this is a series that came out a while ago. I believe it was back in... <sighs> I want to say 2017, 2018, um, but they had like a whole series of dolls. Um, I have two dolls already from the first series. Um, I have Cinderella and then I have Rapunzel. Um, and then this new series of them continuing on is the Midnight Masquerade Fashionably Late. So. Basically, that's all the characters that were late to the party, and now they are here, and they are ready to have a ball. Um, and then, like I said, this one is Ariel, and then this is the back of her box. Um, it does talk about the doll and the description, and also about the uh, party. Um, there is also this beautiful artwork of Ariel wearing the dress. Um, so yeah, I am excited. Let's go ahead and take off the, it's, it's like a whole dramatic moment when you get like a Disney LE doll and you just undo the bow and it's like, it's like magic. And I, I, I just always love the boxes. Um, I was going to say that they did change the box design for the continuation of the series because um, the box design for the original like starter series had like these covers over them, at least like the um, like the princesses and the heroes, like they, they had like these covers over them that kind of looked like the masquerade mask. Um, and then like the traditional box underneath um, versus these who don't have that cover. These are kind of more like the standard like um, limited edition doll boxes. So yeah. And then we have, I was gonna say, I love that on the dust cover that we have this beautiful design of the clock striking midnight on both sides. Very, very pretty. And then, um, oh my god, Ariel. I was gonna say, and then this is Ariel without the dust cover and everything on. And then you can see there's like, 
it's like nighttime and there's these beautiful gold stars behind her and everything. So, so pretty. Um, and then we got our certificate of, <gasps> oh my God. I got a really low number. I, I, I was gonna say, I, I, I don't know if any of y'all like actually care about what number you get with the Certificate of Authenticity, but it's really cool when you actually get like a really no, low number. And I got um, 183 out of 4,300. Yay! Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. The only other doll that I think I've ever gotten like a really low number as far as like a limited edition goes would be my limited edition um, Lily James Cinderella doll. So, but yeah, we are going to get this lovely girly out of the box and then talk about all of these amazing, amazing details that they did to her dress and just everything in general. All right, and her gorgeousness is out of the box. She is so stunning. Oh my gosh. There, there's so many different details to talk about. Okay, let's, let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys. So starting off, looking at her gorgeous face, um, I was gonna say, this is the newer Ariel face mold, and I love it so much. Um, you can see her eyes are definitely a blue color, and she has this absolutely gorgeous turquoise eyeshadow going around both eyes, and wow, does that eyeshadow pop. Like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I was gonna say makeup is on point and then she has these beautiful rooted eyelashes as most of the uh, Disney limited edition dolls usually do um, her hair is perfectly styled uh, her side bang is parted the right direction like it's supposed to be um, and then it's kind of like styled in this kind of like side like hairstyle um, I'm sure there's probably a name for this hairstyle and I'm definitely gonna have to have my gay card taken away because I can't think of what the style is called but um, it is very cute um, and then she has these beautiful dangly earrings um, they they are plastic because they're not cold to the touch but I love the way they did them with the little gem and then it comes down to this like big turquoise piece that's dangling off the end and she has them on both sides. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because, you know, with how the hair is styled, it kind of pushes against the other one, but it's okay. Um, and then she has this beautiful bright red lip. Love the way they did that. Um, and then as you can see, she has this beautiful piece here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what type of fabric this is, um, but it's definitely a lot stiffer than the fabric down here, but it's very pretty. Um, it's a very, it's like a very, very, very light blue. It looks almost white, but it is technically blue. And then there are these little gems that they did going all the way up it. I love that so much. Um, and then, yes, it does kind of look like, I think this is mm, almost in between like a V-neck and like a sweetheart neckline. I don't know. <laughs> and then I was going to say, they use this turquoise fabric up here. And then they use like a darker blue fabric down here, which is be very beautiful. Um, I love the way that this wraps around almost like a belt. And then this piece does actually continue all the way down. And they did this beautiful, beautiful embroidery going all the way down with like little gems here and there. And then it turns into this like little swirl at the bottom. Um, the embroidery does actually continue on on this part as well. 
Um, so this piece, from what I could see in the stock images, it does actually look like it would just like, you know, cascade all the way across. But I actually really like the way that they have this posed with her like holding it. I think it looks very nice. I think it causes a very nice dramatic effect. So I just don't want to remove that tea tie because I know I'll never be able to get it to look the same way again. So we're not removing the tea time. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but continuing on, though, we do have this dark fabric that does continue on. Um, and then it's very, like, ruffled going all the way down. And then we have more of this beautiful embroidery, as you can see here, with more gems that goes all the way down to the bottom of the skirt on both sides. And then it's just like creating this effect of like waves and everything, which is really pretty. And then again, we have more of this color, but in tulle here. Tulle organza, I'm, I keep forgetting which is which. Um, but I love the way that it's like ruffled here and then it just, you know, it kind of spreads out and it's very, very soft, very pretty. Um, it almost has like a sparkle to it as well. They chose really good fabric for this. And then obviously, you know, it is a mermaid spot, um, a mermaid cut for the gown, which, you know, is fitting for Ariel. So it kind of looks like her tail. Um, and then this beautiful mask. I love the way they did her masquerade mask. Um, it looks like there's like a shell here um, and then some more shells over here. Um, and then it's almost like clear here and then where the eyes are. I think this is supposed to be like water if I'm not mistaken. Um, but a very nice piece. Very, very nice. Um, she does have more accessories. She has all these bracelets here. She has what looks like to be pearls here and then two gold bracelets on both sides. And then she has this gold bracelet on the other side, which is very pretty. Also, um, these are the shoes down here. And I love these shoes. They are so fun. It's like a very interesting like pattern happening there. I don't know how to describe it, but I love what they did with the shoes and I also love the color as well. And then here's the back and you can kind of see more of how that hair is, you know, styled to the side with these beautiful curls. Um, her hair is actually surprisingly, it's a little bit more crunchy on the ends, but it's not fully crunchy all the way through. Um, so that's really nice. I'm glad about that. Um, and then you can also see on the inside of her mask as well. And there is little glitter details, which is really pretty. Um, and then, oh, okay. So yeah. You can see the back of the bracelet and it does actually like open up there so you could take it off if you wanted to um you can see that that belt is actually like sewn in to the fabric um and then the roughly part that's on the front does not continue in the back but i don't think it was ever meant to so that's totally fine with me um and then as you can see this material um, here is what continues on in the back and then it just creates this big dramatic train I love it so much it looks so gorgeous and also you can see that um, embroidery from the front does continue on into the back not all the way but it does continue on part of the way so I'm totally fine with that there is also some more embroidery on this piece as well in the back so that's really cool also if I didn't mention it earlier um just like most Disney limited edition dolls um she does have a uh, saddle stand that is underneath her um which I, I'm sure you saw part of it when we, I was showing off the shoes but yeah um and honestly I would never even <laughs> attempt to take her off of that because in this dress 
uh, you would probably never be able to get her back on. I don't even know how they got her on. But yeah, no, she is, oh my gosh, she's absolutely gorgeous. I just love the Midnight Masquerade series. It's just such a great um, designer doll series for the Disney dolls. I just, I'm so happy that they decided to continue it on. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for her. Again, this is the brand new Midnight Masquerade Ariel doll. Um, and if you didn't know, we are celebrating the 35th anniversary of Little Mermaid. So definitely right on time for her to come out. Very exciting. Like I said, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful Ariel doll. In fact, might actually be my new favorite Ariel knows um but yeah she is so pretty that you can tell that a lot of work definitely did go into her to you know make sure that she was up to par with her um original series so yeah she's very gorgeous and I was going to say, if any of you guys have her in your collection or just got her, um, definitely share about that in the comments. Uh, I believe she is still on DisneyStore.com. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, uh, there's definitely still more um, coming out. I think they just came out with Gaston. Um, I know they came out with Queen of Hearts, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and then her, of course. Um, but yeah, other than that, that, like I said, that is pretty much it. I just, I can't believe how many beautiful details they put into this doll. I love her so much. Um, and if you definitely did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like. Um, if you want to see any more fun doll content on this channel, um, definitely subscribe. But other than that, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.